68% of Americans are saying they don't want to shop from a brand that doesn't represent their values. I think we live in a moment where brands need to step up and make decisions about what they believe in um, and let their consumers know. People are rejecting the idea of false narrative. People are rejecting the idea that they're going to shop and support from a brand that actually doesn't represent who they are. Cause activism is on trend. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing, but it needs to be rooted in something that's not marketing first. So how does a brand make themselves be authentic and not come off as a marketing gimmick? Consistency. And honestly, it starts from the top. If you don't have that leadership, you don't have it permeate throughout the entire company. If your sales are independent from the way we act, then that's the only way it's possible. The audience wants you to stand for something. You have to have a set of beliefs and you have to tell people what those beliefs are. One of the most important things that drives value for a brand is creating a real emotional bond between a brand and its customers. And brands need to actually be serving their customers, not promoting to their customers. Do you think there's a risk in a brand taking a stand or having a course at a brand ethos when it comes to their bottom line? And should they really care if it's something that they're passionate about? We're seeing more and more that Gen Z, and I think millennials to a point, care about brands that take a stand and they invest their money there. In today's climate, you you have a responsibility to tell the world what you are doing to not only attract uh, consumers, but because you want to be responsible and help be a, a leader in the space and get other brands to also be doing, doing good by showing that it does equate to good business. That emotional connection that comes with connecting with people and the values that they care about actually creates value as well. Because we do have direct relationships and because we are sitting on social platforms and sending out emails and all the rest, we have to stand for what the things that we can do to make a difference. And so I believe that brands need to stand up for their belief systems and they need to act. I think what you see is most brands that do take an important stand on the topics that matter to them um, usually reap the benefit long term because it does build that stronger relationship. So for instance, CVS deciding to eliminate cigarettes out of the store. You know, that is a pretty significant move when you think about the economics of, of a convenience store type format. But it pays dividends long term with customers and it eliminates what was a huge dichotomy in, in how they were talking about themselves and who they are because you can't be a health company and sell lots of cigarettes. You know, you look back at last year, it's hard not to think about the Kendall Jenner, Pepsi, PR misfire uh -huh. because they waded into waters on a topic that wasn't on brand for them. And so oh, yeah. how does a brand avoid that if they want to take a stand on an issue without coming off as seeming tone deaf or offensive? I think the biggest mistake that Pepsi made there is not having a celebrity partner that did stand for something. I think when a brand decides they feel passionate about something, if that is something they're seeing their consumers feel passionate about, it's something their staff feels passionate about, the first thing they should do is talk to people who are already doing this work. You have to get past skin deep. It cannot just be a marketing message. It has to be rooted in activating your following.